Marcelino Botín. I'm uh, head of design of Alinghi Red Bull Racing. My name is uh, Adolfo Carrao and I'm the design coordinator for Alinghi Red Bull Racing. The America's Cup is special in the sense that who wins the Cup decides what boat is going to be used for the next edition of the Cup. And uh, in this case, uh, Team New Zealand and uh, Ineos decided that the AC75 was a good uh, boat to keep, keep using. The AC75, actually it's a 68 <laughs> footer foiling monohull, so it flies in the air and uh, it's really, really fast, especially going to windward against the wind. It goes more than 40 knots against the wind and 55 knots downwind, so it's a very, very fast boat and very exciting to design. The boats are very complicated, apart from obviously the foils and the aerodynamics of the hull. There's a lot of systems that go into making this boat operable and that makes it very, very challenging in, in all aspects, in engineering, in, in systems, in aerodynamics, hydrodynamics, all, all aspects of the design are, are a big challenge. The synergy between Alinghi Red Bull Racing and, and Red Bull Advanced Technologies is, is uh, really good. It's been absolutely great having Red Bull racing with us in, in the campaign. Aerodynamics for these foiling boats is really, really important. The boats are going really fast. The, what we call the paramount speed, so the speed that the boat and the crew fell is, it's, uh, is very high. So it's as important as hydrodynamics. So having the input from the very best experts in aerodynamics as the Formula One team and it has been really useful. You look at the way the, the boats are constructed, it's, it's, it's very similar. It's, it's a different application of the same technology. We had a great meeting with Adrian a few months ago. He was really interested in what we were doing. We spent a few hours going over the design and discussing different ideas. In Formula One, we have our engineering teams are aerodynamics, mechanical design, and control systems simulation um, department, vehicle dynamics, all rolled into one. And it's exactly the same here, that aerodynamics, hydrodynamics, um, of course a boat has both. The interface is the most complicated area where the air meets water that of course we don't have to try to cope with. But the, the structural side, the control systems, uh, simulation, simulators, that's all exactly the same in principle, but of course applied very differently. So it's a, it's a fascinating parallel universe. I think there's a lot of similarities actually. Of course, the, the, the technology, the pioneering spirit to understand, you know, are you doing enough to stay ahead of the opposition? Uh, and there's a lot of, uh, I suppose, boxing with shadows. You don't really know what you've got until you, of course, go racing. And it's very similar with Formula One. You can't rest on your laurels. Uh, the competition's immensely high. You know, everyone is uh, on top of their game. Yes, we are extremely competitive. You need to have a lot of passion and this desire to, to win and to compete. And uh, actually, that's also the part that I like the best. I love being on the competition mode. So that's what motivates me every morning. The design of the boat is one of the keys for the wing, not the only one, but uh, for sure a very important one. And uh, traditionally, the, the fastest boat has, has won the cup. Maybe this time it won't be like that, but uh, there's a big chance that it will be. Yeah, it's big competition. It's big competition for who has the best boat and the fastest boat. So yeah, and we're very, you know, we'll be very proud if we are the ones having that, that boat. <laughs> Having the boat here in Barcelona and being able to sail in, in the right conditions of the, of the Cup with the 75, not just with the small boat, is a huge advantage for the teams that have done that, you know, and so far there's only two of us that have done that, so hopefully that, that will give us an edge.
Working with the sailors and, and getting their feedback is, is probably one of the most important things that, that are part of the, of the design process and, the, and the, the challenge process, you know, because clearly you have to, you have to develop the boat to, to its maximum potential. And uh, probably you never get to that 100%, you know, but uh, the closer you are to, to that 100% potential, obviously the better, you know, and that comes through a lot of work with, uh, with the sailors and, and with a lot of uh, analyzing the data that they, they generate on the boat. It's definitely a very important part of the process. You, you keep developing and designing as you build, so there's you know, still a lot of big decisions to make. We use the real boat, so we use Boat Zero to uh, exchange ideas. Usually there's designers on board as well sailing on the boat, so the feedback is really direct. And then we have the simulator, which is another big part of the, of the program and where we actually have the broader discussions. And uh, it's key. We have to have a really good relationship and uh, you need to be able to translate uh, what we are thinking in design terms or what they feel in sailing uh, terms. So I think we're doing a good job here. This is our America's Cup because once the boat is built, uh, we can keep developing the boat, but the main components are you know, you cannot really change them. So for us, uh, as we speak, there's, um, you know, uh, a lot of uh, drawings and, you know, components that need to be finalized, you know, for the boat to be on time. So right now it's pressure is on, on the design team. Now it's when most decisions are, are taking place. You know? So obviously the designers are at, at full steam right now, but there's another big period for us which is the development of the boat once the boat hits the water and then, then we need to we need to make sure that we develop the boat to its maximum potential and that means incorporating a lot of things because there's, there's still a lot of scope for introducing new elements into the boat and also there's a lot of analysis taking place on, on what we see in the water what we test and, 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 and how we make sure that we can develop the, the boat to to, to its maximum potential. We are building the boat in Switzerland at Equiplan at the Decision Yard, which is the Dalingi Red Bull Racing Yard now. There comes the Swiss Precision. They are really, really precise. And uh, all the weight monitoring, all the quality control, it's really, really best standard in the world. This yard's been around for many years. They, they've built some of the winning boats that uh, Alingi has done in the past. So they're very, very experienced. So far, they are progressing as planned, and, and you know, I'm just looking forward to see the boat finished.